What is up YouTube guys? I know it's been a minute. I've been sick the last couple of days to be honest. I have a fever right now. I didn't even go to work yesterday. I have to go back to work in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do a really quick Q&A. Almost close to zero editing on this video. But wait, hold on, something's a little off. Is it just me? Hold on. <laughs> I'm missing some color grading. Let's go ahead and fix this right now. That didn't work. Let, let's get that color grading in. All right, everything looks good. Is that better? <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and begin the Q&A. Alright, so again, these questions I'm getting are from Instagram, so if you want to make sure you get on the next Q&A that I'll be doing actually either end of this week or early next week, make sure you hit me up on IG, follow me there and get ready. So I'm going to go ahead and answer these questions in order as fast as possible within 10 minutes, so let's do this right now. Okay, so RG Codes is asking, um, talk about your first job as a developer, how my interview was. Um, I think I've said this many times and I'm answering it very quickly, um, I just went to my job, right, my first job, I came in and I showed them my basic website I had back in a day and I, more than anything I made a goal because I knew I was not good enough yet to get that job I made a goal to show how passionate I was and I made a goal to show how much I really want it and then when I got the job how much I will work hard at it as well okay I had to close the windows really quick because it was too loud okay so pre mang 8 says vlog your life I will I'm gonna do an actual whole day in the life of Chris Sean where I talk about everything I'm doing I feel my entire day I'm um, gonna be a little different but I can't wait for that to go live by next week next week for sure Jack is asking I'm a front-end dev and I'm studying the basics for the past two years but I can't finish it help me um it, it takes time man I, or I mean two years um are you losing treehouse I mean shoot I don't know I'm not gonna answer this one <laughs> Time management from Diesel02. Um, very good question. Number one, cut out gaming. If you're not a developer yet, and for me, I had to cut gaming out of my life. And because I did that, I was able to stop being lazy and making excuses and actually study code. Um, he asked, how do you balance your social life and work life? Um, to be honest, for me, uh, social life, I mean, it's here's YouTube, right? I, have, I make a lot of videos here for social media. But really for me, I have the mindset of just working a lot. And I don't know what you mean by social life, but there are times if you're spending way too much time having too much fun, going out way too much when you could be studying code, uh, there's a time when you need to like not do that as much, but really look at your priorities right now. You can have a lot of fun, right? You can, that's true. But if what you're doing is slowing you down from reaching your goals, and you have to realize which one's more important, right? For me, yeah, fun is nice, gaming is nice, but to be honest, I don't really enjoy gaming like I used to. For me, uh, for example, I was sick, I didn't go to work yesterday. The whole time I was thinking, man, I wanna code right now, man, I wanna work. And when I, before I came back to work this morning, I was messaging Jesse last night, like, I just like working hard and I feel so bad I couldn't, I couldn't come to the office, but I know what my priorities are. So how do I balance it? I do what I love, I make videos, I play games once in a while, right? Um, but more than anything, I actually start boxing again and I box about three or four times a week now while I work and do all these different things at the same time. So just trying to make time for what you need and what's most important. Uh, imposter syndrome. I talked about this a lot, Jacob. Jacob Cole's asking, please talk about imposter syndrome. Um, I still feel it today. I mean, I really do every single day, and I still do to this moment, and I hate that, dude. Um, I know that my company hired me, they know my capabilities, but as a developer and for someone that's as competitive as I am, I want to continue doing better. And, and it sucks when I can't do something as quickly as it should get done. And I think I just need to learn to ask more often. To be honest, I'm gonna start doing that. But the way I'm able to do that too is building also a better friendship or relationship with my other developer that works next to me too, who I work with. Um, and even just being able to not be afraid to ask my boss questions too. Now, but more than the most part, I'm fairly comfortable with what I'm doing, but I need to get faster at it. And I need to get faster at that. So again, I feel it to this day, you'll always feel it, but you can't let that determine if you can become a developer or not. You cannot allow that to slow you down from reaching your goals. Things you learn on a job, Slack, Asana, Docker, etc. I'm working with things like Jira, Bitbucket, of all these different applications. I'm learning how to use SourceTree and all these different things. I don't want to go into everything. But what I'm learning on the job more than anything is I already know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but I'm learning how to do it well. But even more than that, I'm learning how to work with JavaScript, HTML, CSS in a big, 
system code base like ours at work. That's totally different from making a basic website. There's so many things that you have to really take into account in regards to millions and millions and millions of people visiting your page and knowing that there will always be bugs, but what are you trying to do to lessen the amount of bugs um, on your site? Trying to pretty much bring that percent to the chance of a bug coming up down to zero, which is always almost impossible, which is impossible. There's always gonna be bugs. More than anything, and just learning how it is important to work quickly well but also at a fast pace and that's something i really want to improve on i'm making a goal this week and next week as well really trying to work quickly on, on, on all the products given to me making a goal to try to get all the products kind of done as fast as possible but there are more things going on at the company i'm excited for this that we get to work on it man like ugh. There's a lot of things going on, dude. I'll talk about that later. Um, okay, so Conrad Code says, can you please talk about how to not give up? Good question, man. <laughs> how do you not give up? Um, I think everyone wants to give up on everything you're doing at some point. Now, you have to think about even like people who are in the NBA. I love the NBA. I watch it every single day. Those people who made it to the NBA wasn't sure if they can actually make it. At least one point within their lives, they thought they couldn't do it. But what is it that pushed them to get there is that hope. The hope thinking and knowing that there's a chance that you can do it. The thing about the NBA is not many people can do that. You have to be, you have to be physically, you have to, you have to be gifted with your genes. You have to put in thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of hours of practice, very dedicated. And even after all that, there's a chance you won't get in. But with code, what's so amazing about this industry compared to other, you know, professional jobs like that, is that if you're willing to put in the hard work, you will eventually get it. Of course, there will be some difficulties, some things that will be harder for you compared to other people. But more than anything is that you have to be able to know that you can't do it as long as you put in the hard work. You have to learn well, use resources, watch my other videos, subscribe to me, let me know. Join my Discord channel if you 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 know if you feel like you wanna give up. And I'll tell you this, there are people who've been fired on my Discord channel. The people I got jobs as a developer who got fired, um, but they're still going even after you got let go because of that hope, knowing that they will have a better life as well. Someone asked, okay, special visuals asked, do you take special notes when you're learning code? No, I do not take any notes when I learn code. Uh, Reinhardt asked, did, did you go to college and do you think it's necessary? I did go to college, I dropped out after two semesters or even maybe just one. No, it's not necessary, but it can help. If I was 18 and I could start over again, I would get my four year degree. Is Udemy good for learning development from Mario 3945? Yes, it's very, very good for learning web development. Um, let's see what else. Best advice for someone getting into code. The best advice for getting to code is you just start. Don't think too much, get into it. Forgive yourself when you mess up. Forgive yourself when you don't understand something and keep going. Johnny Lutt Devs asked, favorite programming language and why favorite programming language is javascript simply because of how complex it is how there's so much that you can learn there's so much you can do with it it's so powerful and there's pretty much no limit to it. you could write uh use javascript to write vr apps apps for your computer apps for anything um just because of react native and that's all JavaScript. Proteins is asking, are you considering getting a new car? No, I am happy with my car. Yes, it's a 2014 Nissan Versa, but that's totally fine, man. I am content. I will buy a new car in cash, but that's in probably another three or four years. My main goal is to save and save for the future, not buy everything I can like I've been doing, which I'm stopping now. Sueno underscore record says, I would like to meet you. I live in Anaheim. You inspire me to do code. Uh, yeah, bro, if you live in Anaheim, meet me up somewhere. Let's do it. Hit me up. DM me. I don't mind, man. Uh, Quicksilver says, can you give us an idea of the range of how much money you make? How much money I make? More than $10,000 a year. <laughs> That's it, man. I'm sorry, bro. But I'll tell you this. Um, yeah, never mind. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I can tell you this. On YouTube, if you're wondering how much I make at least, a year on YouTube. Um, I make about $3,000 a month and up from just YouTube alone. So if you add that on top of my salary, life is pretty good right now, man. Wow, did I just tell you how much I make? Oh, shoot. <laughs> all right, guys, Um, there's other questions. There's a lot of questions on here. I wish I could answer them all. But I'm gonna make another video on this, probably Friday then, just to make it easier for you guys. So I'm gonna go, I gotta go to work, I gotta head out. Thank you for watching. If you can, please like this video. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any more questions, I will answer them in the comment section. Just to give me some love, man. It's good to be back. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.